Hello everybody, my name is Shane, and in this video, we're gonna be checking out the official Samsung cases for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. I highly recommend for you to get a case for your Z Flip 3 because my personal Z Flip 3 already has some scratches on it. You can see I have a scratch there on this corner, and I have a scratch on this corner as well. So it's just as simple as laying this down on a table that it might get a scratch on it. So highly recommend for you to check out some of the cases here from Samsung. So let's start out with my personal favorite, the leather covers. Just one sticker on the back to remove to get the case open to the case. So this is just your standard black. It has the same leather feel as really any other Samsung leather case. Absolutely love this feel. This is what you're gonna get and expect from a black on black look. Opening and closing, still just as easy. No difference there. You just have that really nice feel of the leather case. Let's go ahead and check our wireless charge. Wireless charge works on this guy. Have plenty of room here for your Type-C port. We have our cutouts for the mics and the speaker grill there. We have plenty of room here for hitting that power button. You can see no issue there. Have our full view of the front display here. No issues at all with this leather case. And again, it just has such a nice look, such a nice feel to it in my opinion. So if you wanna get more of a contrast going, you can definitely do that as well. These also just kinda of easily clip on and then you can kinda of just push them in to the middle and that's gonna get the case on just fine. Now, I personally like this look here. You just have a bit of a contrast going on. You can see the color of that case when you open up your phone and then, of course, on the outside as well. I really like this look here, having the black hinge and then just that contrast and color there. I will also try this black here on the lavender. I saw the lavender color was actually sold out on Samsung's website, so this must be a very popular color. And if you want to tone down that lavender a little bit, still have your standard black case on here. This is a great way to do it. You still get that really nice lavender color coming through at the power button and on the hinge there, but everywhere else it's pretty much covered up because we have this black front display here. But that is the leather case. And personally, this is my favorite Samsung case for this phone. I've been using this color here for at least a week now. And this leather case overall that is my personal favorite. If you're having a hard time deciding on what case you should get, because there's a ton of different ones this year with the Z Flip 3, I would recommend a safe choice is to just go with the classic leather case. But we do have some new cases here, which I think is the reason a lot of people might be here to see this video. We have some new cases that have silicone and also clear designs, but we have one with a loop, and then we also have the one with the strap. So let's start off with the loop here. This is a olive color. First thing I wanna mention about this case, it's a two part case, but this loop here kinda of keeps the case together. There are these two clips on the inside of the case, and if you want to get rid of the loop, you can simply just unclip these. It's a little tough to get off, but you just unclip these, and then you have a conventional standard case without that loop if you don't wanna use that all the time. It's nice that that is an option for you but I'm gonna keep it on for the purposes of this video. This is actually a really nice feel. I'm actually really liking the silicone case here. So on the top here, you can see around our hinge, we do have that ring there. I actually like this a lot. It's gonna allow you to maybe get a good grip of your phone in a different way. You have it attached by the ring. You could also clip this to something if you have some sort of carabiner or something that you already use in your everyday carry, like in a smaller bag or something like you clip your keys onto something, you can clip this onto it as well. You know that your phone is not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be exactly where you clipped it. I actually really like this accessory. Now let's see if it works for helping us hold it with one hand. So we're gonna open this up and then actually, yes, this is really nice. So you have kind of that pop socket sort of design where you can put your finger through this and then you have better one-handed use, but more importantly, this is definitely in your hand now. It's not going anywhere. You have it attached by the loop there, and then you can just take your finger out and close it back up. And this also kind of bends down, so it doesn't take up too much extra space if you don't want it to. 
And like I said before, you can completely remove this clip if you want to and just rock the silicone case, which I'm actually really liking this silicone case. Personally, I'm not always a huge fan of silicone cases just because they're kind of tough to get in and out of pockets, but this one actually kind of has a bit of a smoother feel to it. So, and also again, just loving the contrast here of the black on the olive here in this example. Again, we have our room for our cutouts and the speakers and such have no issues getting to that power button at all. Let's go ahead and check the wireless charge. Wireless charge works. Honestly, I did say initially to just go with the leather case, but if you are okay with having a silicone case, then I think this is honestly a good option because of having that ring. This phone already has a pretty good grip in the hand in my opinion, but this just gives you that peace of mind, especially with having your finger through the ring, and it could help you in your everyday carry if you're gonna be clipping this onto something. And I will have links to all these cases down in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. All right, so with the clear version of this case, it comes in two separate parts in the box, and then we have this extra attachment here, which is going to allow us to use this ring loop along with it. So there are little indentations on the inside of the case here that is where we're going to place this piece. Now this doesn't have any adhesive on it or anything, it's just a piece of plastic and it's just gonna fit right into that slot for us. So we have that one attached and now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Go ahead, get rid of that film. And now on the bottom half, again, you can kind of see we have a little indentation that this is going to fit into. It's a little bit awkward, honestly. All right, so we finally have the clear case on the phone here. And honestly, I'm really liking the clear case here just because you're able to show off the color of the Z Flip 3 that you do end up getting. This part is not clear. It is kind of like a tan color. I feel like that kind of goes against what you're going for here. But again, we have the great loop here. I'm really liking this loop design. I mean, look at this. This is a smartphone. I mean, this is just crazy. You have this little keychain thing attached to your phone, but it does really serve functionality with that loop with it closed and with it open, which is what I really like about it. And again, we have this loop here to get a nice grip and this clear case has a really nice grip to it. And again, it's a harder plastic. Let's go ahead and check our wireless charge. Good on the wireless charging here. We have our same cutouts. You can really see the sidings of your phone now a lot better with this clear case. Cutouts for the mics, for the speaker grill. And we have an extra cutout here for the volume rocker. You can see on this one, it has a little bit of extra silicone there. Leather case, you also have that volume rocker button there. But this one, you're just gonna be using those standard buttons. I've also found that you can kind of put your finger into the loop before you even open up the phone. Just go ahead and open it and it's already in there. So honestly, I'm really digging these cases with the loops. But now let's go ahead and check out the cases that have the straps on the back of them. So we have the white color here with a green strap and we have the navy color here with an orange strap. Let's go ahead and check these guys out. So I've actually already been using this case for a little while. So this guy clips in a lot easier <laughs> than that clear case, that's for sure. But oh yeah, I'm really liking this white on black action here and opening and closing, no issues with this guy, not having anything in the way here at the top. We have, again, our cutouts here. We have just the cutout for the power button and fingerprint sensor on this silicone case. And man, wow, this just looks so good. Loving this white case. This will probably get dirty really quickly. Now, the main appeal of this guy is we, of course, have the strap on the back here. So when you open this guy up, you're gonna be able to get a really good grip on this phone. Like it's not gonna go anywhere. You have it strapped in there. This might help you if you're doing some sort of filming or if you just need better one-handed usage. This is a great way to achieve that. Also something definitely worth mentioning here on the strap cases is that you can adjust the height of it. So if you wanna clip it to be a little bit tighter, you can have it on this lower loop. And if you want it to be a bit looser, you can attach it to this loop, which I actually found this, I actually kind of like this more, because if you clip it to this one, just gives you a little bit more wiggle room to work with. When it's closed, you actually can fit a finger through if you would want to hold it in your hand like this. You can actually fit two fingers in like that with it closed. 
So that opens up some functionality with it being closed, which I actually really like. And then when you open this up, you can now fit three fingers through this if you wanted to. And that honestly gives it a really good grip, have a really good hold of it. So I'm actually, now that it has that extra functionality, I'm actually liking this case just as much as the other ones. This case also has a decent amount of lip on the inside, so you can lay this flat on a table. And then we have another little hook here, clip here on the bottom. So it's a little different design than what we have on the larger loop. I prefer this larger loop personally, but let's check wireless charge on this guy because we have a lot going on on the back and the wireless charging still works. So even though you have this extra stuff going on here, that's not gonna get in the way of your wireless charging. That is very nice to know. But let's go ahead, wrap up this video by checking out the navy color. This is definitely more of a toned down color. I know we have the very flashy orange, but the navy, it's a bit more toned down. I personally like this. It, honestly, even though this one looks cool, it's personally not my favorite. My personal favorites are the silicone with the loop here, and then just the classic leather case. I mean, this is gonna be my personal go-to just because it has a nice feel to it. It's gonna give you that protection that you need. You're gonna have that raised lip just a little bit, if you would lie this down on a table for whatever reason, you can most certainly do that. And opening and closing, it's gonna be the smoothest experience in terms of quickly opening and closing this, which is what is my personal favorite part of the Z Flip 3 is the opening and closing of it. I did post a full review on the Z Flip 3 if you wanna check out a more in-depth video. I'll have that linked down in the description. But what are your thoughts on the official Samsung cases let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss future uploads. Hope to see you guys around for the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.